Hi again then guys and welcome to another special projects replica style tune and this particular replica is of a higher performance version of what is already a performance car and this is something that Jaguar likes to do they have a normal model of their car then they release a performance model generally with the addition of an R on the end of its name and then they take it to the next level by adding an S on the end so you've got the XF then the XFR, and now the XFRS. And then, sometimes they'll even add a GT on the end when they feel like it. But this particular car that we're replicating is the XFRS, and it's got some similarities to the XKRS, which we also have on the game, and actually one of the main connecting points between the two cars is that I've used the same iconic paint colour. Well, iconic is a strong word, but at least... The colour that most people think of the S models as being, that French Racing Blue, and it's actually called that, French Racing Blue, and that particular blue actually comes from the Jaguar XKR S, so you can get it from that car and then fit it straight onto this one. Now, it is a production car, so you don't have to go for that colour. If you don't like that particular blue, that's fair enough, just go for a different one, of course. I wanted to do that to keep it realistic to the actual car, to the known colour that most of the press photos were released in and to kind of keep it at least a bit on brand. Now as far as the rims, we fitted it with Oz wheels. I can't remember the name of the rims but they're called something like Ultra or something like that but they're quite low down the rim selection and they are fairly similar actually to the real XFRS's rims, these very chunky overall design. They do have one spoke less, the real car has sixes, these are of course fives, but still, they do look very similar. Now, that's it for the visuals. The real XFRS does have a very dominant rear wing, but we can't get anything like that wing on the game. You can fit rear wings, but they just don't look anything like it, so I've opted not to do that at all, because when you fit the racing wings to this car, it just looks ridiculous. Now, if you feel... Otherwise, feel free to fit one, but I just didn't think it looked authentic to the car. So that's it for the visuals, overall. So we'll go next to, of course, the mechanical side of things for the replica there, and then finally take it out on the track to see how it performs, if it's quick, if it's fun, and if it's a good replica. Now, this particular replica actually isn't quite as heavy-duty as some of the others that we've done. It's quite affordable to do, the main cost is actually just the car itself, whereas with some other builds you have to fit loads of parts, buy loads of expensive stuff. With this one you just don't have to do that. Now I've gone for sport soft tyres, as I often do for street based builds. Likewise with the brakes, you don't want the car to feel like a race car, because at the end of the day it's not. So I've opted to leave that stock. As far as suspension, I've dropped the ride height a little to 120 because the real car doesn't sit that low. It is, of course, lower, but it's not slammed by any means. Springs have increased to 850 and 750. Dampers and anti-roll I've actually left on three, which may seem strange, but that is still higher than stock, so it is stiffer than it originally was. Camber and toe we've got neutral, but as always, if you personally like to have a little bit of that, feel free to do so. For the gearbox, I wasn't actually able to find what differences there are between the XFR and the XFRS. I'm sure there are some, but as I said, I just wasn't able to find them. Now, as I've said in other builds before, where I wasn't able to find things like this, if you do have access to that information, or if you know about it, feel free to put that in the comments for the benefit of others. By all means, do so. But as I said, I wasn't able to find the differences, if there are any. As far as the diff, I went for halfway on initial torque, as low as possible on acceleration and deceleration, but of course, feel free to change those for personal preference. As far as power, you don't have to make that big a change really. I would recommend an oil change, and then the Sports Cat, and finally reduce the power to 99.5%. The real car has 542 horsepower, so of course that's what we've gone for. And finally, for the weight, you don't need to give it a weight loss package at all. In fact, you actually need to make it heavier. Almost two tons, 27 kilos extra, and I've opted to put that all the way to the back, although you don't have to do that. So as I said, it's actually a fairly simple build to do, and the PP is so far off from being rounded 
even to 510 you'd have to fit loads of parts and it's just not really necessary for a build like this so you could use it for racing but it's not really ideal for that because of the pp level but that's it overall for the tuning side of things now of course let's finally take it out to a track now, as I alluded to just now when we were looking at the tuning, this is not designed to be the kind of car that will win races or set the best lap times or anything like that. It's just not that kind of tune. This is a vehicle which, due to its size and weight, is always going to be more about the fun factor rather than being a race car, in effect. Now, that being said, I was surprised, actually, with this particular tune setup that I've fitted to the car, just how well this vehicle handles for a two-ton vehicle. It is remarkably good. Now, as you can kind of see here, you can make the car get its tail out and do a little bit of a drift if you want it to, but overall, the handling is really good. So good, in fact, that even on sports softs, it actually takes quite a bit of effort to make the car drift. It's got so much grip, and the handling is so, not loose, but so precise, that it actually is almost too good. But that's it overall for this particular build. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.